the one thing the narcissist wants most from you. The one thing they want most from you, more than anything else, is your submission. They want you to accept and yield to their will and authority. They want you to see them as being superior to you. They want to have the power and right to give orders, make decisions and enforce obedience. The reason for this is because they have a need to feel significant. They want to be the best. They want to have the power and control. This is why they have so many problems with you. Because every time you try to think for yourself, every time you try to do your own thing, they see it as though you are trying to resist their authority. You have to go along with their way of seeing and doing things. You have to go along with their narrative or they will begin to see you as their opposition, something that they need to conquer or dominate. They don't want to tune into you. They don't want to recognize or understand your perspective. They expect you to tune into them and see things their way. In their minds, they are the ultimate truth. However they see things or want things to be is always a fact. It cannot be changed or viewed differently. They are unwilling to serve you. They want you to submit to them. They might go along with it in the beginning. If it makes them look good. If it helps them to find a way into your life. They will do whatever you want. But once they've got you, they lose interest in doing anything for you or seeing things from your perspective. They no longer agree with you on anything. The narcissist wants you to submit to them and that is why they have double standards. That is why they have a set of principles, standards and morals that apply differently and more rigorously to you than they do to them. They expect you to attend to them. But they see no reason to attend to you because in their minds they are superior to you. They are in a higher position. Narcissists are easily disappointed with people and relationships. Because they expect submission. They expect people to yield to their exaggerated sense of superiority. And when that doesn't happen, they become critical. They express adverse or disapproving comments or judgments. They become angry very easily. Because in their minds, you owe them. They believe that they are inherently deserving 
of privileges or special treatment without doing anything to earn it. When you don't cave into their demands, they will use it as an opportunity to unload all of their thoughts and feelings that they don't want to deal with. They may even become abusive if you don't submit to them. If you don't submit to them, they could become very defensive. They could, they could become very anxious to challenge your resistance to their authority. They don't want you to question their authority. They don't want you to tell them that they're flawed. And they don't want you to outshine them. Because in their minds, they are supposed to be superior to you. Narcissists specifically target people who are submissive. People who choose to help or serve others. People who show a readiness to give them something. These are the kinds of people that they will be looking to take advantage of. Because they're just going to give them whatever they want without expecting anything in return. But narcissists also prefer to target people who are accomplished. People who are well educated and have good social skills. People who have money, status or power. They target people like that because it makes them feel good about themselves by being around them. But even though these people may be powerful or successful, they will still expect and demand their submission. The narcissist always felt as though they're not going to be anything great. They always felt as though something was wrong with them. They learned that they will only find acceptance based on conditions that they don't have control over. So to take control of this, they have to get people to submit to them, to compensate for their feelings of insignificance. The one thing the narcissist wants from you is your submission. They want you to, to submit to them. But how satisfying could it possibly be when they have to demand your submission? When they have to force you to do it? When it's not out of your own free will? They have to force you to submit to them because they're jealous and insecure. And when you don't submit to them, it will often cause a narcissistic injury and narcissistic rage. They will criticize you. They will make false statements in an attempt to damage your reputation. They may even discard you. They will see it as though you're causing disturbances or problems. They might call you the narcissist. Or they will say that you're being selfish. They might start a smear campaign against you or try to punish you in some way. And this is all just their way of telling you that you are supposed to submit to them. You are supposed to comply with their demands.
when narcissists have this strong and obsessive demand for you to submit to them, it should tell you that they have no knowledge, understanding or ability. They don't understand that they should consider and respect you. They don't understand the quality of being friendly or good natured. They don't understand that you have the right and ability to choose whatever you want to do. And that is why narcissists are not good in relationships. When they demand submission from you, it shows that they have no knowledge or understanding of you. They have no knowledge or understanding of what you desire, want or need. Knowing this, you need to ask yourself if this is someone you really want to give your loyalty or commitment to. You need to ask yourself if you should really be anxious and fearful, wondering about what they're going to think of you. People like this, who are so needy and demanding, have clearly failed to understand the basic principles of life. And for this reason, I wouldn't recommend taking any signs or pieces of information from them. You can observe what they do, but find a solution within yourself. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonate, I hope this video resonate with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.